there's a stray pumpkin in the yard. It's white. Yeah, it is white. Let's go put it back on the hay bale real quick. You stay here, pumpkin. Ah! Now I'm knocking them off. All right, y'all. Are you ready to show them, Manny? Yeah. Look at those collard greens. Yeah. So it's been like eight days, I think, maybe nine days. It's been a little over a week, somewhere around eight to 10 days since we planted the collard bottoms. And hold it steady while I pack it around here. There we go. This one is the only one that has any regrowth going on and it's doing really good. But this one and these two, nothing going on. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I cut these two short because this one was longer. You can tell how much taller it was than that one. And it's doing really good. You can even see here, there are some new ones growing. It's doing good. So if you decide to plant collard bottoms, don't cut them too short like I did here because nothing happens then. I mean, it looks like there may be something about to start happening here. We'll see. I'm not gonna take them out or anything yet just in case, but you know, it's obvious that this one is way ahead of these if they are gonna do anything. What'd you find? This. Oh, a little block. Let's see how many eggs we have. Okay. You got it? Yeah, one. would. Got one too. That one looks kind of pink almost. Jonah and Cece said there are a lot of fish down in the little pond, but we can't see any. Cece's pretending she's rock climbing. She has a rope tied to a tree right there. You see any fish? No. There are some huge, look, that is bigger than almost both of their heads. Bring your head over here, Jonah. Yes, both heads. What tree does that come off of? I've been trying to figure out. I guess it's this tree. I don't know though. Is this real? This is real. I thought that was one of my fake little, fo oh look, there's a little caterpillar on it too. I thought this was fake because it's such a pretty color red. We brought out the tray of pumpkin seeds from the pumpkins that we made the pumpkin pies with yesterday. We're going to get all the stringy stuff off the seeds, wash them, and make some roasted pumpkin seeds. well as much as we could off of the pumpkin seeds then I came in here and rinsed them really good three times to get all the little strings off there's probably still a few here and there that I missed but now we're gonna bring them to a bowl and then turn them down to medium and just let them simmer for about 10 minutes this will just make them a little extra crispy whenever we roast them in the oven I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to to 350 I'm trying to decide what we want to season them with. I actually, I think I'm going to do, we have roasted garlic and herb, or I was seeing if I had a steak seasoning up here because the steak seasoning would be really good on them, but I don't think I do. We'll do roasted garlic and herb. So yeah, we're just going to let them simmer for about 10 minutes and then we'll drain them and get them ready on the pan to go in the oven. They'll just take about 40 minutes in the oven. While they're in the oven, I'm gonna vacuum. That's one of the things on my cleaning list this afternoon and I haven't done it yet. I need to vacuum that rug and the stairs. drain the pumpkin seeds. I'm just taking this clean towel and squeezing them just a little to dry them. Uh, not completely dry them, but just get some of the moisture off of them. And I'm just going to stir them a little bit. Now I'm just going to dump them on this baking sheet. They are still steamy. They smell good. They smell like sunflower seeds. The very first time I ever roasted pumpkin seeds, Jacob and Tyler were little. Tyler was probably Manly's age. And all I did then was clean them up and then just put them on the pan and roasted them. And they're good that way. You can skip this boiling part if you want to. But if you boil them first, 
they're better. They're just a little crispier. Now I'm just drizzling on a little bit of olive oil. And this is where you can put whatever seasonings you want to put. You can just do salt and pepper. I think the salt and vinegar ones would be really good. I've never made salt and vinegar pumpkin seeds, but I bet they would be very good. <laughs> Me and Tyler, though, are the only ones who like salt and vinegar, so I'll skip that this time. Y'all let me know if you've tried salt and vinegar pumpkin seeds. So we're just going to use this roasted garlic and herb. I'm going to stir these around. The oven's already preheated and ready for us, so we're just going to stick them in the oven. I'm going to set a 10 minute timer and we'll take them out and stir them around and then put them back in and we'll just do that every 10 minutes until they're done. It usually takes about 30 to 40 minutes. Everybody's playing in their rooms now. Manly didn't take his nap today. He slept late this morning. I think it was, yeah, yesterday morning. He woke up really early. And so I guess he made up for it this morning because he slept until 10, almost 11. It was like 1040 something. So he skipped that afternoon nap. For supper, we're having leftover chili slash find what you want night. We made lots of chili yesterday. It was really good. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the coffee pot so it'll be ready for in the morning. My voice is still kind of crazy. Hair also crazy because it's so windy outside today. Just ignore all my craziness. Hopefully my voice will be back to normal in the next day or two. I don't know. Titus put this little mini hay bale decoration over here yesterday. And he was like, I just leave that up there through, you know, till after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm sorry, George. I don't know if you'll be here until after Thanksgiving because you're taking up quite a bit of space, but we'll leave you up as long as we can. You'll, you'll still be fine. We'll just move you to a different place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is the second time that I've taken them out. So they've been in there now for 20 minutes. And they still need probably 20 more minutes. They are smelling good. Put on my autumn jazz. Y'all hear that in the background? <laughs> it's the only thing keeping me from playing Christmas music already. I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up the chili. I'm just gonna put it all back in a pot and warm it on the stove. Pizza. <laughs> Who thinks he smells pizza? It's not pizza, it's the pumpkin seeds. They they kind of smell like pizza, huh? Yeah. The seasoning is making them smell a little pizza-ish. Well, go check. It does be pizza. You thought it was pizza? You want some chili? Yeah. Okay. seeds are done. You hear how crispy they sound? Let me put some of them in here. I think I can put them all in this bag. You just eat the whole thing? You can eat the whole thing or you can break it open and get the inside out. Or just eat the whole thing. Reminds me of a time whenever I was a child. My daddy was hauling cows out to see more Texas and I didn't know how to eat lobster. I mean not lobster. Crab legs. Crab legs. <laughs> Crab legs. Funny story. We got in there and I seen them things all over the place, like a big old octopus. And I reached in there and grabbed me some of them things and put them on my plate and went over there. And I, I mean, me and Daddy sat down and I started chewing on that joke. And Daddy looked over at me. He looked around the truck stop just then. It's got said, tickles. You're supposed to break it's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know how to do it, so take a look. It's good, Daddy. I just ate the whole thing, just like I did them crab legs. You need any of this cream? We're coming in for a little late night shopping here. Have some. We're trying this French press right here, everybody. Y'all know him and his coffee adventures. Yes, Papa Bear. We're looking for some kind of fruit curl. Pearl. Huh? Pearl. Pearl. Oh, pearl. You found, found the pearl. pearls, yes. These are great. I haven't tried these yet. We're gonna try these. These are great. You know sometimes late at night, me and you set up talking yeah. that we might want a little pizza in our life. What do you think? Let's tell them about these, Daddy. Don't get them right there. Them they right almost there will almost kill people. <laughs> that right there is not good for your palate. That, your... 
it it was crazy. Uh -huh. it was just crazy. don't do it. Now these little cupcakes are cute, but I'm not trying to. I wouldn't yet. go there either. I'd just do this right here, everybody. These have been proven for many years. When you set up late at night sometimes, like if you stay up to 10, 30 like we do, you cook a pizza, you cook a pizza, and then what? You feel like you want some dessert, but you don't want to really grow. You go get a pearl. But me, I'm gonna get one of them bluebell ice creams. Maybe two of them. Everybody, we're fixing to go ahead. We already got our directions. And our jammies on. Right there. Don't be ashamed to use directions. Don't be ashamed to <laughs> hold the directions and go to YouTube and figure it out. So we've heard French press coffee is better than the percolator, better than the Keurig. Well, we like the percolator, really yes. love it. You gotta bring your water. You don't want it to be boiling, but almost to a boil. Does the coffee go right here? Uh, it goes inside there. It goes in here? Yes. You throw the coffee in there? Yep, you just dump it straight in there. And then now, wash. first I'm gonna wash this though. It came with this little scooper. Oh, and that was nice, wasn't oh, it? Oh, I tell you what, that's really nice that they would do that. We'll yeah. keep it for a minute. <laughs> Until it gets lost. Until it gets lost. Now, you just put the coffee in there. Hi, everybody. Uh, coarse you, ground you coffee. Use coarse ground coffee. Or you can even get your own beans. The thought came to our mind. The thought came to my mind is do what you want to do. To go to Ingles because Ingles has the little machine there that you can, um, sorry y'all, I'm beans. opening this over here. How many cups does the percolator make, Mom? Uh, I usually put eight cups of water in there. Does this, it, did this set an eight cup thing too, didn't it? We still got some perk in there if we want it. <laughs> Tyler made some earlier. Tyler, Tyler made some on Tyler there. likes hot coffee. Jacob likes iced coffee. So what we do is this water is almost ready. We're starting to see some steam. We're gonna then pour it over the coffee to about right here. It's gonna be an exciting ride here, everybody. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I mean, I've been wanting to try this for a while because I've heard people say that it's uh, Listen, better. I heard a, a professional. Coffee maker? Coffee sampler. Oh, Whatever okay. you do, the ones that go. <laughs> they spit it out? Yeah. Why do they spit it out? I don't know. I guess they don't want to get full of coffee all day. So. <laughs> the man said that this right French here press. is really, really good. All right, so now we just pour the water in here. We're going to see if we like this. You know we'll tell you the truth mm -hmm. if we hate it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a professional sampler here <laughs> in a minute. I'll, I'll do that for you. Now you stir your coffee. Now stir it just a little bit more, Titus. Okay. <laughs> now you just sit this on here, but you don't you don't push it down yet. Don't do nothing we, now. No, nothing. We just set a four-minute timer. Four-minute timer. Let it. And here in a minute, that. I'll slurp on this really, really hard. I mean, I'll really pull it through my teeth and through my palate and tell you what. Is there a I spout think. over there? Oh, okay. It's a little bit of spout. What about that? Even see it. <laughs> my goodness. It's so probably fixing on. to be good, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you. I can already tell. This oh, is probably going to be my favorite kind. Guess what we found at Walmart? pick a -boo. <laughs> I see you. Let's talk to them just a minute, Ma. They can probably see some of that in the background back there. What's the channel we've been watching a good bit? Oh. Fridays forever. Fridays forever. I guess they live near Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg and they go around everywhere showing you the restaurants and everything. Great. I'm going to link their channel down below for y'all. Tell them that we sent you good people. gingerbread cookie dough coffee creamer. Boy, I tell you what. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, everybody. When it hits zero, we're, we're taking off. And I'm going I mean, up gonna there. We're going to have enough coffee uh, mechanisms. We can open up a little coffee shop. Oh, my goodness. I'll put it out there on the I'll highway. I'll make some Come of them jelly donuts perk. and all. <laughs> we got the perks. Perk, perk and press. All right, everybody. I'm slowly. Gonna, I'm gonna, like Manly would say, slowly. <laughs> I'm going to slowly press this down. Oh, that looks good. That's really smooth. Okay. Looks good. Here we go. That's the way you do it. If you don't believe me, I will pull it up on YouTube. Well, you do it more quiet. No, baby. I've got to do it real. If I'm on, <laughs> I've got to be real with our people. It really is. Good. Let me try it. I, I, like it. I drink it every morning. It's smoother than the percolator. I like that. It's really smooth. It's a little bit too strong for me, I think. It's a little keep, too strong. Keep on perking. <laughs> it's stronger than the percolator. That's Boy, it's stronger. Pull back one, one Still better spoon than, of the definitely better than a uh, Keurig or other mm. coffee maker, you know, instant. It's better than those. I like it. I'm going to drink another cup and I'm going to have a few donuts with little midnight snack right here. This is what happens though when you watch Fridays Forever. That's why I do it this restaurant. A little long strip. Long strip. Rectangles. 